What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So to the left we have the TCL Q825 and the TV brightness brighter option with movie mode enabled. Now for our colors, you guys can see we have it set to uh, 65 like before. It's literally the same exact picture setup. Uh, right down to 53 for the brightness, 87 for the backlight. I mean, really, the same thing as you guys saw in the last video. Uh, that's what it is. Now, to the right, we have the Sony X900E from 2017. Uh, as you guys can see, just a quick little overview. Uh, I'm not using the light sensor. Brightness is max, and uh, colors are set to 62. So, again, nothing crazy, right? Nothing crazy at all. We're going to compare these two TVs. Now, I'm going to start off with, in the wonderful world of Wonder Calibration Disc, which is my favorite calibration disc out there, uh, despite what others are using. This is my favorite. And I'm gonna check out Wally now. Now, one of the things I want you to see, look at the haze, bro, on the mini LED. Now, the Sony's not perfect, as you can see, but the mini LED, not exactly totally black as it should be all the time. Just wanted you guys to see that. I thought that was very interesting the first time I did end up seeing that with my wife uh, as we were checking out these little scenes here and we were just like kind of baffled by it all, thinking that it should be better than what it is. And um, pretty disappointing stuff from TCL, I gotta say. I wish they would have done a little better buttoning up this stuff. Now, I'm seeing a little clipping on my end. I'm gonna drop that down just a little bit. Again, TCL does have great color, but the Sony is providing so much more color, so much more kick and punch that it is ridiculous at this point. Um, considering the Sony has significantly less zones of full array local dimming, that's something to investigate here. Now, again, looking at this image, I think if you've never had a Quantum Dot TV, you'll love the TCL QA25. It'll be amazing, especially if you're upgrading an old 1080p TV. But if you're somebody that has had a Quantum Dot TV and has had one for years now, like I have, and you, you have a reference point to compare it to, this is disappointing. Look at the amount of blue that uh, you just are missing here. I mean, like, it's unreal. Like, let's try to run that back, if I can remember how to run this back here. I'm using my PlayStation 4 as a Blu-ray player, and I always get it wrong, even though I've been doing it this entire time. All right, so in scenes like this, the TCL is brighter and it has the greater color volume, hence the amount of luminosity we're seeing in the scene and the way the colors are punching. The black levels are also impressive. I also wanna open up my ISO to kinda of illustrate that again, the TCL does have some pretty dark black levels. Again, it's dark, it's just not as dark as it should be, right? It's kinda of exactly on par with the Sony X900E. It's a hair darker in this particular example. Now, to be fair to the TCL, I can always introduce Black Crush by going into the picture options, advanced picture settings, and then taking my brightness from 53 and dropping it down to 51, and that will eliminate any kind of black disparity that I do see, but that's gonna result in some heavy black crush in a lot of the darker scenes, making the TCL the more inaccurate picture between the two. Now, we could do it like that, and a lot of you guys are not gonna be happy with the results, so I figure it's better to just go with the accurate image and take the results that just kinda of follow from that. So 53 is how I have that set up. Okay, now that being said, uh, as we look at this particular image though, we can see that again, the Sony looking way better. Now let's see if we drop that TCL uh, brightness down to 51 if that changes the result, and the answer is no. So even if you change the black levels to help deal with the, the, I guess, haziness to it, you're not gonna be able to get rid of the disparaging difference in color as you guys are seeing here. Look at all that blue that we clearly have here that is not on the TCL. That is a problem, ladies and gentlemen, for $2,000. Now, that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our shadow detail yet again because again, I am not okay with Black Crush. I don't like it at all. And I like to see the detail in Wally's eyes. And that being said, while I'm sitting here, the Sony has dramatically more detail in this scene. Now we're gonna let the scene continue to play out. I'm gonna lower it as I see clipping, um, just so we can, again, do things on the fly and adjust things. But the Sony has like a ridiculous amount of depth and dimensionality to it. Like as he's shaking his hand to get over to Eva to try to hold her hand here. I mean, Wally is just like on fire here. Now, the Sony X900E is showing a little bit more haze by comparison. Quite obviously, you are going up against a mini LED TV. So I would expect the mini LED to have some sort of advantage. However, if you look at the blue in this particular scene, wrapping under the jawline of Eva, you're going to notice that again on the TCL, that's a little bit more muted. So you're not getting that 
100% advantage that you would expect. Like, I'm expecting domination, right? Like, I think everyone here would have expected TCL to blow this Sony from 2017 out of the water, but it's not happening here. Now, one of the things that I think is really funny, though, is that in 2017, the Sony X900E was proclaimed as a mid-range TV, even though it's a premium 4K HDR smart TV on Sony's lineup. And this TV is proving exactly why in 2017, it was an OLED Slayer, because it has the color, the contrast, and the detail to really perform at the highest level. And I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing here, like quite honestly. Now check out these black levels on the TCL. I don't think you guys are, are seeing what I'm seeing. I'll open up my eyes so quite a bit here. It's getting hazy. Near black not looking the best here and Sony's actually doing a better job of representing that. I think that is just the funniest thing in the world. If you want accurate shadow detail, you've got to take in some extra haze. Now, as always, we can go in and we can lower it to 51 to give us some slight black crush, but then also try to give ourselves uh, a little bit more uh, I guess of the black level control, but that's the sacrifice you have to make because now look at the black levels. They're not as bad as they were before at 51, so you've got to choose. You're either going to have black levels or you're going to have a little bit of black crush, and there ain't no in between. So, again, I found that to be really funny. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into my little typical retail loop that I like to do of the Wonderful World and Wonder Calibration Disc. Again, I really love this uh, disc. If you can find it, this is the number one uh, calibration disc I recommend, especially for beginners. It's very detailed and it will help you out. Um, again, this is not a plug for Disney in any way, shape, or form, just some information to help you get going. Now, as we look at this, the landscape from the Wonderful World of Wonder was looking so much better on the Sony. And I, I gotta say, man, like as I'm going from like scene to scene, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Honestly, like Sony is killing it right now with these colors. Look at the way that this is starting up right now. Like, I don't know how much of it, again, showing on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it'll make TCL look really oversaturated and like really juiced for color, but that is not the way it looks in reality, guys, at all. And please follow this commentary because this is gonna be what's gonna help you guys the most. The video, not really gonna be the perfect reference point. I mean, try to follow certain things and try to hear it in a certain way that helps you, but essentially, there is a problem. Now, I wanna wait till we get to the comforter here so I can show you guys when we get to the, I think I already passed that scene, I did. It's the opening scene and it happens for like a split second. If you're not careful, you'll miss it. And it's this scene right here. So I want you guys to pay attention to something. Look at the blue. The TCL obviously has quantum dot color because you see the blue is more vibrant. However, do keep in mind, we have it set up to favor black crush a little bit and the way that we are setting it up so that we can keep those black levels deep and rich. If we did open it up to the 53, we would not have a disparaging difference. So just keep that in mind. The color differences aren't really affected by changing the brightness around too much. That's more your black levels. Just wanted to put that out there. All right. Now, obviously it has more color than the Sony in that regard, but when you get to certain things like the way they're rendering green and the way they're rendering the overall environment, I gotta say, Sony's tone mapping is just ridiculous. And I find myself more often than not being impressed with what I'm seeing from Sony. Uh, as I look at the, the glasses, I mean, like, I hope this will show on YouTube. Like, there's some crazy depth happening right now on Sony's TV. Like, seriously crazy depth. And you don't have that on TCL. Like, if you look at this, like, little, I don't know what this character is, like a maid, I don't know. Um, but this is so much more flat by comparison to what I'm getting on the Sony X900E. That is a big problem for me. This TV, again, not exactly a $2,000 TV, so not understanding why TCL can't just run over the Sony like it's supposed to be doing. But I will say this, TCL, of course, is brighter, so you do have more expression behind your color volume. Though I will say it, it's not really amounting to much in scenes like this. I mean, that should be very clear, and if it's not, I'll highlight it by telling you, this whole scene, way more depth, that, not a whole lot. Now, also, I wanted to kind of draw your attention to something while I, I, I kind of do this. This is one of the things that's gonna make people be a little salty, but uh, all the depth you think I'm showing you up until this point, I haven't showed you anything, because if I, if I really wanted to trash TCL for those who might be feeling some type of way about this, just know I could go a step above and beyond, go to clearness one, and add so much more dimensionality, sharpness, and it would be ridiculous. And just to show you what that looks like, I mean, now they're playing in an, an entirely different uh, playing field. 
the Sony looks like an OLED, basically, on steroids. I mean, like, right down to the way the motion is rendered, and, and I mean, everything. And the TCL looks like a TV from, like, seven years ago. I'm not even joking. All right, maybe not seven years ago. Let's be fair. I would say from at least, like, 2016, to be fair. Like, it does look really old and dated. I mean, like, can you guys see this? I hope you guys can see this. Like, the, the dimensionality is just so much greater when you use clearness one. Yeah, you sacrifice a little bit of your brightness, but the amount of depth you get out of it from movies, unparalleled, nobody is touching that. Now, I'm not gonna do it to TCL like that. I think you guys can kind of get the idea that that's just, I mean, come on. I'm not trying to clean slate them. I am trying to give them some sort of a chance to compete. So, we'll just turn it to clearness off, and it's still a disparaging difference, but maybe not as bad, right? Um, because that was really bad, guys. I, I mean, like, you probably won't see what I see on my end, but that was, that was really quite bad. Um, as far as colors and everything, as I pause, it's still a big giant difference. Shadow casting is way better. As you see, Woody's hat is casting a better shadow along these edges. Uh, the wallpaper in the background, way richer, deeper. Buzz Lightyear's green, way deeper. Purple, red, blue, every color, period, is more rich on the Sony X900e. And why did I pay $2,000 to have that being said right now? That, I don't know. That's, that's kind of what it's going to feel like if you get this TV. Now let's go to another scene. I freaking love this scene, man. Look at Carl. Look at the main man, Carl, showing everybody what I'm talking about. Look at his skin tonality. It's so natural, so rich. The color of his nose, the door versus the door on the TCL that looks a little bit more pinkish and cartoonish. I mean, really, it's just incredible what the Sony is doing. Like, it really it makes me fall in love with this TV all over again, just seeing time after time again, this TV destroy so many TVs in the blue and that, uh, I don't know, retirement home guy's uniform is just punchy as hell on the Sony. I see also, I should pause here, you're not gonna see this on YouTube, but as I look at the grass as they're walking away, so much more sharpness on Sony than on the TCL. And also the shade of grass is less cartoonish. Now again, I'm almost 100% certain that my camera's gonna oversaturate this and you're not gonna see any of these differences, so please again, follow the commentary. But I will tell you, this is pretty dramatic. It's so hard because I'm almost tempted to put the Sony back into the mode, uh, back into clearness one, just to see how it would stack up. But I know that it would destroy the TCL even more than it already is, and I, I don't want it to be that unfair. Uh, I say unfair as if it's Sony's fault that TCL isn't rendering an image on that level, but you know, at the same point in time, I mean, I'll show you what I mean when I say unfair, because like if you look at an image like this, yeah, it has a lot of depth, but Sony's TVs are, are a step above. So I could literally just go like this and boom, now it's in an entirely different class of television and good luck TCL, you know? And, and that's just where it is. That's just the reality that nobody wants to say out loud because they're afraid of all the negative comments on YouTube. I don't care. I'm gonna tell you, this TV is kicking the hell out of the TCL and I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked by this. So this is the Wally scene that I love so very much. I freaking love this movie. It's a great movie. If you haven't seen Wally, what are you doing with your life? Come on, get it together. But I mean, really, this this is just amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. So TCL, obviously the brighter of the two TVs. Of course, that's a reoccurring theme, but look at the Sony now, obviously. I mean, come on. It feels a lot like I'm looking at an OLED versus like an LED, I'm just saying. And I know the Sony's not an OLED, but it is an OLED Slayer from 2017. So just saying, putting that out there, still putting it out there, and I mean what I say. This TV is a monster, an absolute juggernaut. It was the sleeping giant of 2017, my number one recommendation back then. The KS8000, uh, another great TV, but you know, I don't even know why I mentioned it. I don't know, I guess I'm just subconsciously comparing TVs in my mind, thinking about it. That's how like legit I'm like going at back and forth with this. But guys, I mean, I'm having fun here though. I'm really having fun doing this because like I don't always get to compare a uh, 2000 plus dollar TV, $2,100 after taxes. Funny story actually, I got charged twice just for you guys out there wondering. So this TV actually cost me a little over $4,200 because I got charged the same amount twice, still waiting for the freaking charge to fall off because apparently Best Buy charges an authorization charge. Yeah, that's some BS, but whatever. Uh, it's an authorization charge that takes like two weeks to fall off or some crap. So you're just kind of like out that money until whenever. So I'm out like over four grand on this comparison. So 
really hope you guys are enjoying it because yeah, I feel a type of way about that. But that being said, I mean, this, this is crazy. Look at the Sony. Now, as you guys know, I'm totally, I'm totally bodying the uh, TCL right now with the way that the Sony is rendering things. And again, it's not Sony's fault that TCL can't keep up at this level, but I will be nice to TCL and I will give them what they don't deserve. And I will turn off clearness one, which is how I would normally watch TV. And I'll just pretend like I'm everybody else out there that wouldn't use that feature, like at all. Like we just don't have picture processing options. But I'm, I, I see a lot of clipping here, so I'm gonna change that and adjust that. And uh, it's still immediately obvious that Sony has the deeper blacks. I'm trying to say something positive about the TCL, but I can't see anything in the scene right now. This is a win um, on my end anyway. Total win for Sony right now. Now the brightness that I can all day every day give to the TCL because they definitely have it over the Sony. But that's it, dude. Like, look at this sky. Hold up. Well, you can even see it here, but I'm gonna run that sky back. Like that sky was pretty ridiculous. Look at the sky, dude. Look at the sky, come on. All the color and you just don't have it. I just, I don't know, man. Two grand TCL, really? Not on your life, TCL. Like, come on, that's not it at all, guys. And, 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 it's, and it's funny because it's like, you know, I could tell like TCL has some strong moments, right? Clearly they have some strong moments, but not all moments are strong moments and you gotta mention it when it's not. And I think that's important to do here. Now, TCL looking really strong right here. Finally, they look good somewhere. Now, the, the, the blue here popping off of the glass panels, the red, all that very punchy looking better than Sony. Overall, my eyes gravitate towards the TCL. So finally, I can say TCL edged out Sony, but how long did that take really though? And I mean, that that's, come on guys, that's crazy. Now, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, cause I see a little bit of black crush here, I feel like I have the image set up to favor black crush. So I think that's also something to factor in. I mean, I'm gonna verify that now cause I don't actually know. I don't remember, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, 51. So that's what I'm doing to keep it from, you know, I don't know. And, and, and I say Black Crush, I, I want you guys to see this cause like you guys probably aren't gonna see it on YouTube. I'll open up Shadow Detail more than I normally should so you guys can see it. If you see in the background, you know, on the Sony you have this level of detail here. On the TCL, you're missing that on that side. Like literally, you're missing a lot of it. You can't see like uh, this over here, like this whole wrapping object. And the only way you can see that in real time is if I go into the picture options and I set it to, damn it, I forgot you can't hit the center button to select. What a pain. All right, you have to set it to like 53 and then now you can start to see some of that come back in, but now look at the hazing that happened. So again, this TV was designed for some black crush. That's their little party trick. So we'll let them have it. And uh, yeah, I just don't like that you have to sacrifice black levels or, or shadow detail really. Um, it would be a great TV if they didn't make you have to do that, but you know, teach their own, I suppose. I don't know, that's just their way of doing things, but I don't know. Uh, and again, I'm lowering the ISO as I see like some clipping happen here and there. Don't know how accurate it's gonna be, but it is what it is. Now we're looking at Bolt. Looks better on the TCL by a lot. That that already looks day and night better than the Sony. So the vibrancy of the purple, the yellow, the light rays, all that killing the Sony. TCL's wrecking it right now. Um, again, color's looking good, you know? So again, it's not like this TV can't perform, right? And I think that's important to mention, right? Like the blue's looking better, though they don't have as many shades of blue. So it's kind of like, eh, I mean, really it, it's so hard. Now here's here's the million dollar thing right here. Would you pay $2,000 for the Sony to be this close? That's the question I think only you can answer. For me, the answer is unequivocally no. I'm not gonna pay two grand for a TV that performs this close to a 2017 TV that has less local dimming zones and honestly should have a lesser implementation of quantum dot technology to uh, an, an astronomical degree. Now, of course, YouTube's gonna probably paint the picture of that. Like, it'll probably show you that. Now, I must say though, that will not be correct. That's just the way that these kind of things play out. Um, follow the commentary again for the millionth time if I haven't already said it, because that's the accurate representation of what I'm seeing here, but now, to be fair to TCL, that sky is looking pretty on point. I do see some clipping, so I'm gonna lower it. But yeah, man, that sky is looking on point on TCL, the tone mapping, all that. Uh, it, it all looks really, really good. Like, really, TCL is making it look good, though 
though Sony does look better if you look at Bolt's face. There is a lot more detail over here and overall, and the overall characters, so much better looking. Right? So now let's go to, uh, I wanna do some dark scenes because I don't wanna just do this, even though this does look better on TCL right now and maybe an argument could be made for TCL there. I wanna show you guys some skin tones of actual people because that is like a big, big, big thing that a lot of people want to see. So let's go into uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Where is it? I think I passed it. Yeah, there's only like one. And we'll do it right here. I freaking love this scene. The scene is amazing to show color detail. So looking at both right now, darker scene, I feel like Sony is doing better with the grain TCL not really doing that great with noise reduction at all. Uh, they do have the deeper black levels, though of course I'm almost 1 million percent positive if I turn on this particular feature. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. If I turn on the uh, clearness, we can see things change for the Sony perhaps? Let's see, let's investigate that. And as I thought, yeah, now Sony has the deeper black than the TCL. You might not see it on your end, but the TCL now has the hazier black and this near black scene right here. Uh, I'll try to open up my ISO to show that off. Uh, I, I mean, the colors in the back now, way better on the Sony by a ton. Uh, TCL now edging out the Sony a little bit, but they have a contrasty. Now here's the thing, look, ah, uh, go back. I swear, every time I'm about to show a point. All right, so if you look at the TCL, the TCL right here has like a contrasty, really dark look that just, I don't know, it doesn't look very natural. It's impressive, I guess, if all you're looking for is just like that black, the color black. But if you look at the Sony, you see her skin, you see every little crater, you see the little tattoo markings on her skin, like very clearly, I mean, every line in her neck, her hair, it looks legit, right? And the TCL is just not doing it like that, and that's a problem. Definitely a problem. Though, I will say it doesn't look bad, to be fair. You know, there's slight black crushing going on here and there, but I think most people probably can forgive it. Like, if you look here, I always say black crush, black crush, what am I talking about? I'll have to open up maybe really, really high here. Uh, you probably might not see it, but essentially, if you look at Calypso's teeth, they are more visible on the Sony than they are on the TCL. I'll try to even zoom in here because I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. Okay, so let's try to sharpen this up a bit. Calypso's teeth are a little dark here on the uh, TCL, right? And if we go over to the Sony, you can see her teeth. These are little subtle differences that start to add up and become a big, big nuisance, right? And I think for two grand, anybody paying that kind of money, you're gonna wanna see all your detail. And so again, doing this lengthy comparison, just trying to show you guys what I'm talking about here. I'm like super hella parched right now, could use a drink of water, but I'm troopering on for the sake of information and science. That being said though, I mean, these TVs are entirely way too close in performance to justify buying the TCL. I just, I, I don't know if I could sign off on something like that. Now my ISO is still pretty high, I'm gonna lower that back down. For those wondering, again, we are in the wonderful world of Wonder Calibration Disc. I make it a point to say it like a million one times because I always get that question, what calibration disc are you using? What do you like? What do you recommend? And this is what I recommend. So definitely give this a look, give this a try. Um, I'll leave you guys with, uh, again, more animated content. I know people are like, oh no, so what I'll do, uh, let's try surrogates. Um, this is the last thing I'll show you guys before I take off here and Move on with the day, I suppose. And a war scene, a lot of explosions popping off. Look at the grayscale here now. I have clipping on the TCL, so I wanna lower that down to favor them a little bit more so they don't have a blown out look to them. If you look at the Sony, the grayscale is just way more accurate and you have a lot more going on. Now what I'll do, I'll try to even go into the Sony and I'll try to uh, turn off the motion clearness one, right? So now let's look at that. I mean, even still, the Sony's grayscale is a lot better. Colors are a million times better in my personal opinion. Though to be fair to TCL, now you do have a little bit more shadow detail in this little car right here than on the Sony where it's a little darker. Little nuanced detail there. That is nice to note, but now I'm seeing it on the Sony and you have equal levels of shadow detail. So it does tend to trade back and forth a little bit. 
Now I'm really interested in this scene because I feel like I'm gonna see some level of Black Crush, and I am. I am seeing it in the uniform. You probably are not gonna see this on YouTube. Uh, okay, let's let's try it. Let's try to show you guys. It's gonna be really hard. Essentially, I'm gonna open this up to like ISO 1000. In the uniform on the Sony, it is more visible. You have more detail. But also, if you look at his face, you can see more detail in his face. And in his mouth, as he's opening his mouth, you can actually see his tongue. Or on TCL, his the inner walls of his mouth look black. Um, that's a very weird unnatural thing that nobody has black inner mouth walls so I think that's something that again you enthusiasts out there are probably going to want to keep an eye out for uh, again as we look at the uniform here opening up shadow detail really really high again ISO 1000 you can see again the green of his uniform here you can see all the detail in his uniform the TCL that is literally like a black uniform over there I don't understand it I'm gonna let this play out try to keep it at a relatively high ISO here now again when you get into normal scenes like this it starts to look really really good I mean you start to believe that it's actually a heavy hitting TV and you're like wow amazing but I mean it's a party trick it, it depends on the scene I feel like for demos, this would be an amazing thing to showcase, but I mean, looking at the two TVs, I don't know that I'd be able to sign off on that because you see the black levels are notably better right now on the TCL than on the Sony, um, but the red is looking very pink on the TCL, so that's something to be careful with as well. Um, overall, I think it's the Sony is doing way too much, way, 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 way too much, and I feel like for that, you're better off probably looking somewhere else or for something else. I don't know. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. What do you think about this comparison? Did you think it was just biased garbage? Or did you actually like what I did here today? If you did and you watched the full video, you are a amazing trooper. Thank you for getting through all of this video, all 26 plus minutes of it. And uh, smack a huge like on this video. It really helps me out here today. Uh, again, if you have any questions, I hold a live stream Friday from 7 p.m. through 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.